guys welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today um, today I am using the Barista uh, collection from uh, Basic Grey and as you can see I pulled out a few other bits and bobs some Heidi, Shine, uh, Heidi Swap uh, alphas and stickers and I'm really really trying to kill this kit or oh, should I say this collection um, I've also pulled out some old stamps. I've got some Bow Bunny texture stamps, and I've got um, some Tim Holtz distress inks and sprays. And these are some die cuts um, that I cut from the collection. And I've also pulled out some um, flare. So the photograph um, is of a absolutely gorgeous latte that my husband made for me last year and uh, it was he'd done it perfectly so that you could see the actual layers of the coffee and the milk and everything and it looked fantastic um, and we're huge coffee lovers uh, he's just bought himself a new coffee mill so we can grind beans again because we used to do that in the past um, and I just wanted to document that really so I'm just first starting off, I'm building up uh, the papers to map my photograph onto and I'm really trying to use all the scraps first. I, I don't, I've used one uh, six by six piece of paper, the one with the leaves on and I'm just going through all my scraps and building up the layers. Um, and. I pulled that piece of paper out, that is a stamping up piece of paper but I decided not to use that and I've got this piece of cut apart sheet and it says so amazing on it um, and I decided I want to use that and actually have the words showing but I've turned the card so the words are going down the side of the papers rather than across so um, just gluing everything down now and I think I'll start gluing things down and then decide I want to ink the edges so I I'll start inking them in ground espresso distress ink I'm just trying these new um, blending tools and they're very similar to the makeup blending tools that have just come out at the moment not sure if I'm very keen actually you seem to have um, a bit less control um, they're good for getting into corners, but I think I prefer my, my uh, Tim Holtz blending tool, the round one. So I'm just inking everything and sticking everything down. And I did um, put my photograph through um, some filters. I used Perfect Effect. Um, which comes with um, Paint Shop Pro. I think I've got version um, X8, I think it is. Uh, and I popped a, a light filter on it and then I did a vignette on it and pulled it into my Paint Shop Pro did some journaling underneath and when I printed it out I trimmed it out like it was a Polaroid so I've already gessoed um, oh actually no I'm telling fibs I didn't gesso my background because I was only going to do stamping on this um, so I'm using some bow bunny stamps they're like uh, ring cup stains and I'm first I ink them with the uh, ground espresso and then I use the gathered twigs just to dab certain areas so I get a two-tone effect and I just stamp those a couple of times and then I do the same with the splats that come with this uh, stamp as well and it's a great little stamp set it's got um, three different textures on the other two textures uh, one is like a scratchy texture and the other one is like a bubble wrap texture so it's great for doing just little bits on 
on your scrap pages. So I'm just stamping the splats. I think I'm cleaning my stamps now. And I think I do pull out um, another set of stamps from Stamping Up and stamp those but then you don't actually see them because I cover them up. Oh yeah, here it is. It's uh, French foliage and it's an older Stamping Up set. And I'll stamp these um, sort of ink splats but then I think I actually cover them up in the final um, in the finished piece so I'm splattering on some of the ground espresso distress spray stain which is one of my favorite colors it's absolutely gorgeous it's lovely rich dark brown and then I just splat some of the Heidi Shine gold spray I think that's just about all the mixed media I use on this page so um, this is like a wood grain paper from the collection and I'm just inking the edges and I've already gutted this out because I wanted the inner piece for something else and I'm going to mat my white cardstock onto this I'm sorry if I sound a bit croaky today. I was up at five o'clock this morning um, because I couldn't sleep. So, not had a very good night. I'm just going to, um, now I can stick down my um, photo mat. And uh, as you can see, I've already st stuck a one of the stickers from the Barista collection on because I think my camera cut out and I got everything onto my page sort of laid it out where I wanted it and then realised my camera had cut out so I had to take everything off again so I could film it again um, so I've just added that cup that's also from the sticker page um, and I think it comes with like a there's a 12 by there was a 12 by 12 sheet of stickers there was an, another 12 by 12 sheet that had alphas and then there was another sheet separate um, that didn't actually come in the collection pack with the papers and everything that also had stickers on and there was also a 6 by 6 sheet that had sort of frames and phrases and things like that on so I just stuck a flare on um, which is from um, I can't actually remember I'll pop that on my blog I think it's a flare for buttons uh, on Etsy uh, the bows are made from the collection which are cut on the silhouette and this um, chalkboard wood veneer is from the range uh, from they have a pack of sort of uh, bare essentials I think it's called they have a, like a collection of uh, craft and wood veneer and all that kind of stuff and it, it, they have it in all the time it's it's a really nice collection it's got like hessian and burlap and twine and all that kind of stuff in it um, so I, I think I had a pack of these word bubbles and I had a pack of um, some rectangular word bubbles as well and I'm just trying to get those used up um, the other black art that I'm just sticking the little tiny wooden hearts on that is also wood veneer that I coloured black with an ink pad and these little tiny hearts are from eBay and I got a huge pack for about 99 pence and um, they come with about five different sizes they're really cute some really tiny tiny ones so I'm just building clusters um, and 
twiddling my fingers because I'm not sure what I want to put on. I'm really trying to use these uh, die cuts up. So I cut a, a bunch of stuff um, and I made loads of those bows up. I am determined that I will kill this kit this month <laughs> or this collection. I did chuck in like extra stuff like extra pages and things but most of the papers are used up. Um, there's just I think there's five papers left in the 6x6 six six pad. There's no 12x12 12 12 papers left and there's a few um, embellishments left. I do have quite a few of the bows left and I, was, I said to my husband I think I might just make a full page up just with a load of bows on <laughs> just to get rid of them. So I'm just doing my little cluster down at the bottom and I have added another flat to that and I did buy um, a pack of six that were all coffee related um, and I've used most of them up now so I think I might have to be getting another pack of those. I'm just stamping my day and I didn't think but I've stamped it in distress ink so it smudges um, because it's on glossy cardstock so it'll not dry so I ended up having to wipe that off um, and I re-stamped it later on with some archival so that it wouldn't smear. And I think I'm just looking for my other roller date stamp and I think this is an Amy Tangerine one and I'm just stamping approved. And I think that's that's it finished, the layout's finished. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave some love in the comments. Bye for now.